Here's all the tubes I have to uh, repair. I'm gonna check them for holes and repair them. That's just, actually that's in like the last five days and two of those days I didn't ride. Well, here I am changing another flat, my third flat this week. Uh, getting a little ridiculous. Um, it turned out to be another dang goat head. I've gotten two goat heads in the front now and a screw in the back. So I don't know what's going on here. Okay, this is everything I have in my my tool repair travel kit, mobile kit, that I also use while I'm at home just so I can be experienced with the tools on the road. It's a lot easier to... Uh, to get used to it at home when you're in your own atmosphere you can grab a soda grab a, a chair if you need to there's my boy mac so all the tools themselves fit in this bag this bag here oop, this bag here fits my uh my air pump this is a really great little air pump it takes a while to pump it up but man it sure does it effort free <laughs> Oh my goodness. So I've got this wrench. This is for the um, for the wheels. I like something with a little a little pizzazz. Otherwise, these here, this came with the red. These came with the red, so I'm sticking with that. This here is a, um, what do you call that? A valve stem remover. And here's a valve stem, an extra one just in case. Here is, oops, I got two of those. Here is, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, zip tie snips, and this is something for the brakes that came with the bike. This also came with the bike, so it stays, and then here's my uh, tire levers, a little uh, electrical tape, because that's always handy, and of course some zip ties, little zip ties. That goes inside the bag, then what goes, what goes inside the tube is this, this is some longer zip ties just in case of uh, the, the um, air compressor and then I like to keep I like to keep two tubes with me um, this one here is one that I repaired this one's a brand new one I mean because the other day uh, last week I got um, I got two flats and I got one at home so I, I repaired it here and you know I, I had I took one took one with me and I got about four miles out and um, I got another flat, so I repaired that on the road. But then, you know, I was I was wanting to go to Walmart, which is uh, 20 miles away, and I had to cancel the trip because uh, I didn't have any spare tubes on me, and I didn't want to take the chance of getting another flat. So now I'm carrying two, and my tube here is um, will hold all that and then some. Um, It'll also hold like my alarm lock and um, uh, let's see, uh, some sanitizer wipes to clean myself after I get all dirty from changing the tire and so on and so forth. Plenty of room. Yeah, here's the other two things that it, it fits in there too on the end. Like I said, there's there's lots of room too for like more claws or sanitizer wipes. My alarm lock in case I want to Put that on my uh, my front wheel, and then I always keep around uh, a uh, one of those disposable rain ponchos. You know, in case it rains or something, I could put over me and over the bike and over Mac, and and um, hopefully we'll stay semi dry until it stops. I mean, I'm not going to go out when it's threatening rain anyway, but just in case I get caught. I was talking about here. This is just a four inch sanitizer tube. And what I did is I took, uh, I got these ends here. These were 10 bucks a piece. So I didn't glue them in just in case something happens, like crash or something. I, um, I countersunk some screws in on both sides. So it, it isn't going anywhere. Then I've got this that just screws on the end. And uh, I have that on both sides so I can get at it from either end. Uh, the pipe itself is 16 inches long plus, um, plus these, which put it just past 
the uh, the milk crate on both sides. So here it is, and then I just take it and oops. There it is. Voila! It works great.